approach to innovation landscaping is fundamental. I don't think biotech can survive in any country where innovation cartography doesn't become the fundamental culture of the place. Define a space and ask the question, what can I do transformatively? What's the way to enter? It's not, everything cannot be entered through science. We also have to reverse engineer our thinking in the other way. So that's, for example, a space. Now, where are the platforms where these ideas can be nurtured in India? So, why I said we are all saying to each other the same thing for the last 20 years, rather than creating new ways of creating opportunity, and defining opportunity, and profiling opportunity. And the same approach is for financing it. Let's create some really transformative ideas of but the guiding principle of success there is very simple, you know. You have to learn to experiment a little bit. Because you can't be sure whether it will work, nor can we. But I today feel very confident that if you take into a, you know, Nelson Mandela used to say spend 80% of your time with the enemy. And I really think that is the strategy, is that you start thinking that if government put in 5,000 crores of real investment capital for these challenging spaces, so that instead of 3%, we become 10% of the globe, what models of alliances are necessary? And like the Stanford Biodesign, just describe the models, don't get into decisions. Let people see what the opportunity is. And then slowly these arrangements will uh, work out. I think in India, everybody tries to succeed on its own, which is fine for a very mature culture from an innovation standpoint, but this one is not. You know, let's face it. You know. So I think for the next five, ten years, we need to very carefully design what we are going to do.